grace and peace everybody late night video time we're gonna talk about the word gift today talk about the word gift and we're going to talk about Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and verse 9 for by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is a gift of God not of works lest any man should boast Seatbelt time. Being annoying. Seatbelt beeper. So God, through the Apostle Paul, is telling us that we're saved by grace. Grace is undeserved, unmerited favor. We're saved by God's grace through faith. And it's not of ourselves. So if you're out there and you're thinking that getting to heaven has anything to do with something you do yourself then you got to re-examine yourself and what you believe because it's in direct opposition to the words in Ephesians Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9 I love this verse so much because it's so clear it smashes so many twisted doctrines and false gospels out there it just smashes it to pieces because it's so clear and i just wish i pray that so many people like that are struggling with salvation by grace or works just really just look at these two verses in ephesians chapter two and just chew on it for a good hour or something <laughs> just Look at it, stare at it, read it over and over again. I give you a place. gift and I expect you to pay me one dollar five months from the point I give you that gift. It's not a gift. At that moment, it's not a gift. It will never be a gift because you paid a dollar for it. A gift is something that's given to you freely. So what is God's gift to us, to you, to me? What is his gift that he gives freely without any expectation of payment on our part? Romans chapter 6 verse 23 says, The wages of sin is death. We're all sinners. We all fall short, okay? We all fall short, but the gift of God, the creator of the entire universe and everything in it, the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Everlasting life is the gift in Jesus Christ specifically and in him alone. I've heard people say like, well, you know, eternal life doesn't really mean eternal life how you're saying it, you know. It's not talking about like you live forever. Once you're saved by God's grace, you are in Jesus Christ, who is that life. Jesus Christ is that eternal life. And once you're saved, you receive him. He's in you and you're in him. Jesus Christ lived the life that you can never live, that I can never live because we fall short. He lived the life we can't live. He was innocent, perfect. Creator came in human flesh, lived a perfect life, died the death that we deserve, shed his blood to pay for our sins in full, was buried and rose again the third day, according to scripture. And because of his finished work, God grants us the gift of eternal life. Romans chapter 11, verse 29 says, The gifts 
and callings of God are without repentance. What does that mean? They are irrevocable. They won't be taken back. Everlasting life, eternal life, God's gift cannot be lost. It's without repentance, meaning he won't change his mind on it. Romans chapter 11, 29 and Romans chapter 6, verse 23 go hand in hand. Read them together. It's so awesome. So remember, God's gift to you and to all of humanity, no matter where you are, who you are, he loves you. His gift to you is eternal life in Jesus Christ alone. He did all the work. Don't get on a hamster wheel and try to make it to heaven and try to do what you can to make it to heaven because guess what? You won't make it that way. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9 again. We're saved by grace through faith alone. It's a gift of God, not of works, not of yourself. There's nothing of yourself that you can do to earn God's favor because it falls short of what Jesus Christ did. Trust in him, believe in him. Receive eternal life today if you're out there and you're lost. Grace and peace to you and yours. Thanks for watching.